Okay, so one of the things about AI is that when you ask a question, it typically will give you one answer. And a lot of people will then assume that that answer is the best possible answer that AI can give them, which is often not the case. It is just an answer. And so there is a concept called tree of thoughts prompting that allows you to, it's almost getting AI to argue with itself and to therefore refine and find gaps to ensure that it's going to iterate um, its potential answers to you. And so when it does finally give you a, a final answer, it has kind of thought about all the, the potential gaps that it has um, in its original responses and it's improved it and it's refined it. And so it is a one way of what I talk about is how do you get that fifth year response from AI rather than taking the second year response as gospel. So what I've also done to make this really easy is build this into a GPT. And a GPT is more of an automated process. So you don't even need to know how to do tree of thought prompting. Um, and essentially what it is, is imagine if you had an idea and you took that idea and you were to find the three most relevant and best experts that could toss that idea around and then give you a, a recommendation on how to, to you know, best solve that idea or come up with the solution to that idea. And that's essentially what happens through this tree of prompting, uh, our tree of thoughts AI prompting, is it will select three of the most best relevant experts and they will all have their opinion and then they will um, find gaps in each other's opinion and then summarize it at the end for you. So let's check this out and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so this is the GPT, Tree of Thoughts, Three Experts. And we can just start off by asking it a question. So um, what is the best structure for a social media post? Let's just kind of start with something really simple. I know a lot of people use AI to create social media posts. You'll typically see it um, in how they're using it. Uh, uh, AI has a certain pattern that it tends to follow. Um, it is a bit of a telltale sign that people are using AI to do that. And look, it's no, no harm, no judgment if people are using it. But I think um, what happens, I think the biggest criticism around AI is it produces junk content if it's not used masterfully. And so this is one way to start to elevate your use of AI is using tree of thought prompting. So we're going to ask, what is the best structure for a social media post? Now, who do you think would be the three best experts for this? Let's see what it comes up with. So it's choosing Seth Godin, who is a well-known marketing expert, Nancy Duart, I don't know who she is, and Robert Cialdini, um, who is an uh, expert in uh, influence. Now, I've got their books on my bookshelf. I've got Seth Godin's. I've got Robert Cialdini. Um, I'm not familiar with, with Nancy. Uh, but again, that's okay. I don't need to be because AI knows the intelligence behind this. So it's then going through this process of um, it's going to start by Seth's going to say, okay, we need a hook, a visual, concise message, and a call to action. Nancy's then going to go, oh, yeah, but we need storytelling and consistency and emotional appeal, and we need to have the format right. And then Cialdini's going to go, well, we also need social proof, reciprocity, scarcity, and authority. You know, there um, he's got, I think it's six key principles when it comes to influence. So we've now got this influencing expert, we've got a marketing expert and a communications expert, which are pretty good experts to have in your corner when it comes to developing a social media post. And so then they're going to go through this process and come up with this recommendation. So they're going to give a 12-point recommendation. We can go, great, well, we can use that to build a, a process. So if we're going to create a social media post, we can use that as a structure and go, okay, now create a social media post for that. But let's say, um, what is the best way to create a structure from this 12 uh, point recommendation that allows me to use this or any type of social media posts. And so we're just going to go, okay, what do I do with this? How do I, how do I make sense of this? And let's see whether it's going to put it through. 
process again. So now it's kind of, it's left the, the three experts um, sort of uh, tree of thought prompting and it's gone into, okay, this is just going to tell us what we can do now. Um, but what we can do is just say um, sometimes we can just tell it to do this again. Say, uh, can you uh, give me three more relevant experts to um, decide the best action forward? to achieve this. And I can just say this, and it understands the context above, or at least it should. Um, so it don't need to be too detailed here. So let's just see whether it's going to, this kind of kicks it back into that theme of, okay, that's right. I need to give you three experts. We've got Gary V and Hadley. I don't know who she is, Brian and Dean. Um, that's fine. Again, we don't really need to know them. And it's going to go through all of this and then give us, these recommendations. So we've now kind of had six experts looking at this and giving us a structure. So that's just one example. Let's let's kind of jump back to a different example. Um, we'll do a new chat. And we might say, um, what is the best way for me to market my business today that is easy to implement and will likely generate the most leads for me. Just see what it comes up with. So it's choosing Seth Godin again. I don't know if it's caught up in that, but we'll find out. And Neil Patel, who's also a well-known marketer, and Gary V. And so they're going through round one, round two, round three, round four, round five, round six. I won't go through looking at the detail too much. Uh, we're going to go and see what they say. So identify and understand your target market, create valuable content, optimize for search engines, utilize social media, email marketing, track and analyze performance, and encourage user engagement, running contests, whatever it might be. And so we could just say um, refine this further into a list of actionable steps that are um, after asking the experts to iterate this which for another few rounds. Let's just kind of get them to review that again and, and then give us a list of actionable steps. So you can see they're going through it again. They're going to have this debate. And so this is just a really powerful way of of getting like that fifth gear sort of response out of your client rather than being stuck in second gear. Um, it's It allows them to kind of, you know, find some gaps and and work out how you can improve things. Um, so it, you know, look, it does, it's still a lot of text being thrown at you on the page. Um, and so it is then making sure you don't get too overwhelmed with it, but it's, you know, you can ask pretty much anything in this. So we'll just go here. Um, what is the best way to make a roast chicken? Let's see who it's going to choose. Gordon Ramsay. I don't know who Julia, Julia Child is. Um, Alice Waters. I don't know who that is. And so, again, this is all, again, based on the intelligence that AI has within its um, training database. Um, so you, know, you might know more than it. Um, but it, yeah, anyway, how much does it know about Gordon Ramsay? Is it a complete digital brain that's been copied across? Probably not. But it, again, this is how you get the most out of AI. Super simple. Um, I'll put the link in the, the description below so you can get access to Tree of Thoughts. Um, you have a play with it. It is a really good idea. Maybe you've got a, a prompt. So we'll just say, uh, let's put another prompt. Um, if Write me a story about a dragon that encourages people to be more kind. And so let's maybe that's something I want to do. So I can then say, how do I make this prompt better? And that would be my prompt. So this is like prompt engineering. We're going to use these three experts to 
um, tell us how they can make this prompt better. Built that. Let's see, make sure it doesn't run it. And there we go. So it's given us, you know, what it hasn't done is it hasn't um, asked the experts. So we might just say, um, please ask this question to the three experts. Sometimes AI just kind of misses it. It's like, okay, yep, we're going to do JK Rowling, uh, Brene Brown, Joseph Campbell. I know who all of those people are. And so they're going to go through, they're going to go, okay, is this the best one? Is this the best one? Is this the best one? Um, and hopefully at the end, we're going to come up with a much better prompt than that original one, which was you know, a single line of write me a story about a dragon that encourages people to be more kind. We're going to go write a captivating story about a dragon named Ember uh, who lives in a mystical forest. Ember is on a quest to teach people in a nearby forest. Da, 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 da. You know, I won't go through it. Um, that's the power of true prompts. So nice and easy, super simple. You don't have to understand how to do it uh, manually. Um, you can just go and use this GPT and it is a really good tool just to make sure, hang on, am I getting the most out of AI right now or am I kind of stuck in second gear and I'm just assuming that's the best response? Often the first response is not the best response. So this is one way of, you know, you can use it somewhere else. You could come up with a, you know, the information somewhere else and you could paste it in and go, okay, what's missing from this list? So, if, and, you know, you, you could be using any other platform. It could be Claude, it could be Gemini, get a response. You could bring it in here and you could then ask the experts, just go, okay, I've got this response. What's missing from it? And the experts will then find some additional gaps. So I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you got some value from it. Leave some comments below. Thanks for liking and subscribing.